Hello there everybody and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. We're here trucking with eye vision like normal. Oh there goes a choo-choo train. Did you guys see that? Can't really see. We got these blinds here. Uh but we are got ourselves a tractor, a nice green John Deere over here. Right? It's probably not a John Deere. Probably couldn't use it. But we all know what the green's for. So we're still in our Freightliner. We're off to Huron. Uh, California, so let's just start this trip. It's a night run here, which is kind of disappointing. I really like the day runs for you guys. I think it's a little bit nicer. Uh, the night runs are nice, obviously, as a driver because less traffic, but uh, the day runs are definitely, you can see so much more, and it's just a lot nicer, but it's kind of like an evening into night run. It'll be decent, though, I think. No, no craziness, which is always nice. There's, this is a nice area, huh? Yeah, that was so cool, that the train going by. That was very nice here. But let's head off. Let's get on the main road here. Get some trucking done, right? It's all about that trucking. So I'm sure you guys are excited to hear, very interested to hear what the schedule is going to be. Uh, especially with all the talk of Transocean 2 on my channel. And what's going to happen with that. So I'll tell you the, the schedule and then I'll explain everything here. Uh, so obviously uh, one day here we've got American Truck Simulator. Then Wednesday we got our normal uh, bus simulator and emergency four. We're going back to Manhattan mod uh, for emergency four. So that's what we'll have on Wednesday. And then Friday we'll finish the week off with uh, some emergency 2016 as well. So that's that's this week's schedule. Trans Ocean 2 guys, I promise you it, it probably will happen. Uh, and just from looking at all your your feedback, your comments, it seems like you guys really want to see it. Uh, the game is still in my opinion not in a good state. I, I'm not really happy with it. I wish they could have done so much more. Uh, more, more or less bug fixes and just the little things now that are just becoming issues for people. And the fact that the, the modes are are very interesting. Like you can have, like you can play Endless, but the problem is there's no tutorial in Endless. So you can't learn about any of the new features in the Endless mode. You have to go through the campaign and do it. Well, the campaign's so broken because they, they, they just, the uh, balancing in it isn't, isn't, uh, isn't done properly. So that creates it's such an issue, um, but, I, but I want to do something for you guys, I really do. It seems like you guys really want to see what the game's like and about. And, and so we're going to do something, it's just not going to happen next week. Uh, but I promise you in the week after though, we will we'll do something. We'll probably do the campaign, we'll do Endless, we'll probably run the two at the same time. Uh, it's going to probably start out though as the campaign only, until we get through enough of the uh, chapters in the campaign to allow me to do the endless mode without having to figure out like what's going on what's this feature for what's why, why is this not happening so that's what we're gonna have to do not really sure then how long the chapters are gonna take you know i want to what i want to do is get the chapters all out at the same time you know so chapter one we'll have it release at the same time i'm just making sure i didn't miss my turn here uh and then chapter two it's kind of the same thing so we won't have like what you know one day we're gonna have Trans Ocean coming out and you know so and so it's all gonna be Trans Ocean 2 comes out on Friday we'll say and then whoa, whoa what crash what I didn't crash anybody maybe I did um but so what we'll do then is we'll have that where it'll be like okay Trans Ocean's on th Friday but then it's going to be all of chapter one gets released on that Friday. So there could be two or three episodes on that Friday then that come out for Transocean 2. Instead of, all right, chapter one's coming out this week. It'll be released Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You know, if it's three episodes. I think that's how we're going to do it. If you guys don't like it that way, obviously, once once it comes out, once that first chapter comes out. You know, if you guys don't like that format, then, you know, obviously just let me know in the comments. And we'll change it back where chapter two then comes out the next week. Um, and it's four episodes, so that means we're going to have Trans Ocean then on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. 
you know, we could do something like that as well. But for the for the first episode or for the first chapter, we're gonna release it all on the same day, um, all the episodes on the same day, and then we'll go from there. If that's something you guys want to change, then you guys just obviously let me know in the comments or whatnot. We'll change it um, to fit. But then once we get far enough in the chapter where we can start playing the endless mode and we know all the features, then then we'll start having the chapters come out along with endless mode gameplay. So then you'll still get you know a couple of days of of Trans Ocean then for the week. So that's that's what we're playing. And so probably I'd say I think the next week's the last week in May here. So probably June there. We'll, we'll get stuff going. I just I don't want to give you I don't want to start the chapters though, and then all of a sudden we have a break in chapters because the chapter the campaign's just so hard to play. You know, that's that's my only issue with the game right now. You know, and I kind of wish they would give the tutorial mode then an endless mode or in like a separate, you know, its own thing. So that way you could figure out what all the new stuff is, but then hop right into like an endless mode or multiplayer or something like that. So it's kind of shame that they, 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 they didn't do it that way. But that's why we're not developers, right? We only play the games that they develop. So... Uh, good news though with the American Truck Simulator, I believe at the end of this month, Arizona DLC is getting released. Um, so that'll give us a whole another uh, state to explore. Not that we've explored all of California or all of uh, Nevada yet, we still got quite a few places uh, missing. But we'll, we'll get there for sure. Just at the rate that they release states, we have no, no worries about not getting it all accomplished. So, but we're trying to still get to Las Vegas here. Uh, so that way we can go to and well it's actually more to find the volvo dealer that's in las vegas and then once we find that we can purchase our volvo truck that i've been just dying to dying to get so and i think we're gonna sell this one i don't think i want the freightliner in my uh fleet at all so that means it's gonna have to go uh let's see if we can sneak in here maybe this car will let us? Oh yeah, he will. He's got no choice now. So that's what we're going to do. I would like to also maybe try the Kenworth, uh, I believe it's the W900. So it's kind of a classic look. Kind of a mean looking truck as well. I like it. So maybe we'll, we'll get that as well. We'll have that and Volvos maybe. We'll see what the Volvo is like. I've driven the W900. It's a nice truck. So I wouldn't mind having that in my fleet if, if the Volvo doesn't work out as well. And then we'll go from there. I do have enough cash though where by the time we get to Las Vegas, I, I could probably just buy the Volvo while still keeping this truck. Well, like I said, we're probably gonna sell this one, do some runs in the Volvo, and then we'll get a garage, we'll hire a driver, we'll buy another truck, etc., etc. You know, maybe we'll take out another loan as well. We're, we're, we're paying off the loan only because I've been doing some trucking outside of of the recording so that way we can get some cash so that way we're not so cash strapped when I play here for you guys so we can actually just do stuff we can get get the trucks we can customize them a lot faster you know we can go anywhere not have to worry about things but once the Arizona DLC does drop wherever we are at we will be going to probably Phoenix so that'll probably be one of the stops we'll make going straight to Arizona it's probably Phoenix there uh, we'll see though maybe I'll have to see what destinations are, are in the Arizona DLC. Maybe there's something better than Phoenix that we could head to and show you guys. But I do want to see, once that drops, I definitely do want to go somewhere there. Show you guys that. And we are definitely speeding. We're going to have to get our speed down before we see a police officer. Otherwise, we're going to have a speeding ticket today. But it's kind of a shame. They, I hope they do something a little bit better with the, with the speed. It would just be nice. I'd like to go. I mean, look at the AI gets to go faster. Why can't I go faster? You know, the speed limit 65 on the sign, but 55 on our GPS. And that's what the uh, game goes off of. It's very... It's a shame. It really is, but... Oh, well. So we're doing good. Bus simulators, we're, we're knocking that out. That game's probably going to be finished by June, I'd imagine. Uh, just this is a thought. I, I, I'm not sure for... 100% sure. I do have some episodes already recorded and ready to be released. So, 
That way, I guess, if it's already designed if a new game comes out that I just totally just, whoa, it's completely gone over my head or I missed it somehow, then, you know, I can always just release all those episodes right away and then on to the next game. You know, because we're always going to have Emergency 4 content. Like, that game just has so many mods and it's still has such a good community with the new stuff I'm, like, working on coming out. I don't know if it's ever going to come out. You know, but there's definitely some mods that are being worked on. It's just a matter of how long they're going to take, if they're ever going to be released to the public, or are they going to be private. But that's how it goes. The one thing I've never understood, though, with the Emergency 4 community is they, they always post about their mod on, on the forum. And, but then, like, they get, you know, get, like, ideas and feedback, but then it turns out to be, like, a private mod. It's kind of like, okay, if it's a private mod my opinion wouldn't you rather than just have like do what you want to do and not care what the community like other people in the public think you know because it's it's what you're it's, it's private so it's going to be only you playing it so don't you want to do what you like and not what other people want but of course then you get the other thing like maybe someone makes a, a great idea or suggestion that you didn't even think of that you're like oh yeah this would be really cool to have you know like so i could see that too but it's just interesting, in my opinion. This is kind of a nice... This is the nice thing about night runs, is no traffic. It's just free flying, you know? It's kind of nice we haven't seen a cop in a while, because we've been kind of doing over the speed limit here. So that's not been very good. It almost looks like we're coming up onto our destination. We're going to Huron, though. I haven't seen the sign on the, uh, on the overheads at all. Looks like we're going to be turning off though here. Looks like it, maybe we're taking like a back road. Maybe a back road. You can see that. Back roads are nice. You can kind of fly on them. The problem is you got like some tight corners and stuff that you got to worry about. And then you're, then you're done for. We're just done for at that point. Alright, mister. But no new mods this week, guys, in this. There's nothing... Nothing new. I don't even think there's a sound pack update. There might have been, I just didn't put it in. But there's just American Truck Simulator just doesn't have the uh, the community behind it at the moment. And, you know, I think everyone's so focused on a Euro Truck Simulator. There's just there's more content there already, and, and so it obviously creates more of a everybody wants to play that. You know, everyone wants to play where the content's at. So, hopefully after Arizona, though, gets released, you know, there'll be a bunch of new mods that come out um, and help help bring people back to American Truck Simulator. But Hero Truck Simulator just has such a huge following, and even with being able, with all the mods that are there, you can get all the American trucks in that game. So, you know, it's almost, unless you want to see the American scenery, there's really no reason for you to, to switch. I guess the other advantage would be uh, the, whatchamacallit, I'm trying to think of what it is now, uh, the, the drops, you know, for where you drop your cargo off are a lot better than they are in a Euro Truck Simulator, so I know with the new DLC that, that gets released with the Euro Truck, they're going to have like different drops and whatnot, so it'll make it different, but if you're looking for more challenging drops, I feel like, then and you can go back to American Truck Simulator or like a variety. Euro Truck Simulator though has some crazy drops, like the ones where you gotta go in between like those pillars with like a really like wide load or something and your truck barely fits in there. That, those are, that's a tough drop off. Like some of those places, so. Euro Truck Simulator definitely has a share of tough, tough drops and easy drops as well, I feel like, but. There's little differences, but now that the games are basically on the same engine and whatnot, it all makes it easy. But here's our uh, here's our drop off here. It's an easy run, just that one crash offense, which I don't think was even an offense. But I could have been in the fault. I might not have seen the guy. Let's see what we got here. Nothing there. It looks like it's gonna go right over here. Looks like it's going right over there. Ooh, in the building, huh? Nice. Pain in the butt. Pain in the butt ski. If you ask me. That's what it's gonna be. 
We'll, uh, we'll try and swing all the way over here to make it somewhat easy. But yeah, this is definitely not going to be a fun one. Not going to be a fun one. Because I can't see. I can never see. We'll throw the mirror up. That'll make it a little bit easier for me. It's kind of my cheat. It's kind of my cheat, though. Which sucks. I don't like doing that, but... I just... I have such a hard time seeing when we're this way, because... I mean, the other thing, too, though, which makes it kind of nice, is if... I've kind of, like, figured out how to kind of follow the lines a little bit with the with the tail of the trailer. Yeah, but see, we already, we already hit something. That didn't take long, huh? That didn't take long. I think we hit the, the corner of that building. That monster. That monster. Alright. We gotta swing it. We've gotta swing it hard. See, I can't see that other side, so that makes it a a tricky situation there. Well, let's try and bring it back. Alright, I think we're going to have to pull forward. We're going to pull forward. It, it was going to accept it, but I, I don't like that. You know me, guys. I want to try and make it as as much like an actual trucker as possible. But yeah, having that other mirror up is a lot easier because like, if you're inside the cab, you can't really tell out on that mirror. So... Alright, looks like it's going to accept it there. Oh. Too far back. Too far back. We'll, uh, we'll take one more run at her. So I was showing you guys that mirror. I guess it doesn't really go as far back as I thought it would. I thought it would go back farther, to be honest. But uh, the variety here is just so nice. But there it is. We'll hit that parking brake. We'll take a look at her. Look at her. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, it's a shame we didn't weren't able to pull her back farther. It should have allowed for that, but whatever. A monster, that's a nice trailer, huh? So that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed our relaxing run, our great conversation. But now it's time for me to hit the hay. So thanks a lot for watching and happy trucking.